saludos. Sí, se le va a ver ella. Más pizza. Ahí dejó un chongo ahí en el... Greetings, everyone. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Vamos a esperar a que, se, que esta persona se ponga en línea. Después vamos a saludar al hermano Trevor para hablar con nosotros. Good afternoon, Bobby. Lopez. I know you still in Honduras. Enjoy. I hope you're having a good time over there. Greetings, Michelle Jones. Buenas tardes. Hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday afternoon. It's very humid over here in New York. Very humid. Tía Olga. Hace tiempo. Buenas tardes. Saludos mi gente de la buga. Tengo que ir a por oro este año. Saludos, Lilian Palacios. Wow, muchos palacios hoy. Muchos palacios hoy. Sandy Palacio. Otra palacio. Fui tirar un barrio y hizo un hidrugo palacio. Ojo va a ir si un motor y no le no me abre el motor para o como se me afanse a vacío que te ya me dice vea te hagan bonita buide me pueden escuchar bien you guys can let me know you can listen to me clearly that would be great My big girl, we could all buy Bye, Trevor. I'm esperando el hermano Trevor que se ponga en línea para que podamos hablar con él. Saludos, Daisy Batiz. Mabriga Home. Buenas tardes. Hati, saludos hermano, ¿cómo está usted? Voy a tirar para ver hijo. Le tengo que dar una llamada a usted, tengo unas preguntas. Que usted me puede dar más información sobre. Son uno de estos días yo le voy a dar una llamada a usted. Now, bojo. Muchas cosas pasando. Too many things going on. I'm in the 
to give Trevor a call. So he could come on this live with me. Greetings, Alcina Howell. How are you? I'm assuming you're from Yirumi. Greetings, Mabriga, Fuitira Mare. Erica knows. Greetings, Joseph Guerrero. Greetings. So today we're gonna our topic is gonna be the Garifuna census and the importance behind that. Why do we need a census? Que la importancia de una census Garifuna aquí en los Estados Unidos. Hello Tanya Diego. Mabriga home. Buitira Mare. Kawogu Kabawu. Wayusua or Kam Kame Wogu Bishuni Ere Luwa Dugani Sensuso Kawo So that's the topic for today. As this is episode nine, I believe, of Mabri Ten or eleven, maybe nine. So I'm about to bring brother Trevor. So we may discuss further. And you can share with us his uh, mindset regarding the census. Hello, Miriam. Greetings, Mabriga. So I just brought Brother Trevor on camera. Namule Yeri, Ida here. Pasteco man, Buiti, Binafi, Ferudu Banek, Adela, and Chilun, he walked. No, what do you make it? What do you make it? So we no muti give it a la kati bogu water. Gayate muga ya ba Compton did that Crenshaw a dig a crip walk. Luma Snoop Dogg pero aba abuhe ya wam sedeme. Wow, mahaya mani me me di badi wo wele de ra ya man wahaya man. Aye aye bui bui. Bui ti a pasteko bu man. Pasteco bu garifuna do Val Blanco Luma Mabriga Garinogu Seremi logo sun le badugu bai ma Mabriga me tu buguch Seremi Seremi um Luha Luha we do me ha travel logo kate la kaba la badugu uh Casey Garinogu lu wa fansa ni le wogo ti ya bu set na ye belu badu me ahon ibirugu ha e ye go baya um kala hisama na be Tu agus senso to, wadu ko ba aba, wagu mo sabi aba ya Houston, leme aba mes semana, bule na idel ay lang wos semana lo gay fun. Pero like eh, ligay me wodi Chicago, no, lubag eh Chicago, like eh Houston, aba me wodi Los Angeles. Ligay me Chicago, ligay me New York, i ni. Oti apa ya hamuga fullasulu wudi like a single fullasulu enggan nale bay. Yeah, no busai gitu watati roman sag mei rumu apa mei wudi lida ge apa estado lu amu lu mei watati ru lu mei wabal ni garino. Pero lu bagi hamu wabelu lida lira enggan nale bay hamu gua nabusuru hongwani. Gayat, gayat. Luti nona aba mawito luni ya wite Robertino Ani yenge yi California Robertino guite Aba mabriga luni ya wite Vic Fresh Greetings Ok Kayati ya dumi ha ibiru So 
Uh, someone is knocking at my door. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you could just talk to the people one quick second, let me handle this, and then I'll be right back. My apologies. Okay. And then I ain't muto ya le bene. So, leave me a do me a one like me. Le do me a lo mahamal lani do ya. Peru do bana tehi wa. Yeah, suppose it is book as on the way to go there, estamos improvisando. No, no, uh, travel, you know, look at this, look at the gunny, look at the gunny, the look at what the gunny we do, estamos improvisando, pero, you know, uh, bongi meme bawama, ma facili bay, you know, pero, uh, what wants it? We do by label with some cutters. So, we say in the book and the busuru from it, the uh, home high ego by your well, eh, Anna Guiti, Mabrigo Bonito, Hortense Dominguez, Mabrigo, who, uh, Melita Vargas, Mabrigo, game, who, Mabrigo, who, someone who Belisi, Endura, Wadima Lu, uh, Yurume, uh, Yamerica, uh, uh, Nigarao, Mabrigo, who, Sungube. Um, the reason we're here, we want to say hello to everybody. The reason we're here is because we are in the process of doing a Garifuna, a national Garifuna census. Vamos a hacer un census al, al, al nivel nacional aquí en los Estados Unidos. So, what bug down your Garino? Sun Garino, yeah, America. Uh, y luego bug ni a Watatira, Chicago. Uh, noviembre 9 a 10. Nyeba Watatira abode in Yagarino, Chicago Fumia. Aba this dear woman, Watati Bala, Yen, Yen, Lube, Mibe Hamagri, Fumia, facilitate to Mabo Ebu when he lira. Decidimos que vamos a pensar a contar la gente primeramente donde hay poca gente, y después ultimamente donde hay más gente. We decided that we're going to count the people in the smaller cities first and then move up to the cities that are larger. So we're starting in Chicago. Chicago. Next will be Seattle. Following that might be Miami or Florida. Whoever is working, whoever is working at that time will be where we do the census after we do it in Seattle. But coming up before that, pero lubaga watati wu above the gigia uwati sensu wama. Uwati kapa luma garifun. Uwati. Uh, Kamahamuga hangi te garifuna, uh, Kamahamuga urue le in the baby red that I'm a better city of wow. So, Kabahamuga would do so. Won't that wow? It seems as if the governments in which we live, uh, they don't necessarily care for us that much. Uh, la el gobiernos on the vivimos parece como que el garifuna no le importa mucho y que es lo que vamos a hacer y que lo des lo que decidimos hacer. Es que vamos a hacer un census, pero va a ser para Garifuna, por Garifuna. It's going to be a census for Garifuna, Garifuna Blanco, uh, by Garifuna. We're not necessarily interested in getting funds from the city, from the state, or anybody else. Because we don't want anyone to, uh, 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 to misunderstand that the situation with the Garifuna people is particularly special. We're immigrants. And we're black immigrants. And you know the legal immigration situation going on in the United States of America right now. And it is our business, uh, it is our responsibility to protect the interest of Garifuna people. And that's why this is for Garifuna, by Garifuna. Uh, la razón que lo vamos a hacer así, que no estamos pidiendo dinero o apoyo de la ciudad o el gobierno, es que, tiene que este movimiento tiene que ser por Garifuna, para Garifuna. Por Garifuna, para Garifuna. Así, por, porque la situación legal, la situación con inmigrante, con nosotros como Garifuna, es un poco especial. Es diferente. So, tenemos que, es nuestra responsabilidad para cuidar uh, la identidad, la posición de cada persona Garifuna. Y es la razón que lo queremos hacer de Garifuna, para Garifuna. Brother Blanco, that's the reason we're going that way. So, June the 9th, uh, we're going to start fundraisers. 
a uh, junio 9 vamos a empezar en recaudación a uh, uh, líder me en nefo medida si si hati de que me gusta tira a ella a muga ujo bu a me que garino con lujo muy hite ha lujo muy bobo ni a muga que garino con mongo pablo so houston a a no a cabeza de nati you're breaking up okay uh it probably needs to just take a second there because I'm not doing anything different. Uh, can you hear me clearly? I got yeah, my Okay. This so Houston. The transmission. Okay. Everything looks fine on my end here. Can you hear me clearly now? Yeah, I could hear you, but it's really delayed. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to talk a little bit slower since it's delayed because the last video, okay. there was a delay on it because it is live okay. and uh, Facebook is monitoring all of the lives. And before we go any further, right. I also want to thank Facebook. Quiero dar gracias a Facebook por este espacio, por esta plataforma para estar aquí con mi hermano que está en Nueva York y yo. Estoy aquí en California. Uh, él está ahí con Mábriga. Y con tiempo vamos a tener este método de poder comunicar por la media Mábriga Garinagu y Garifuna Duval Blanco. Te quiero dar gracias otra vez por empezar este movimiento, la media Mábriga Garinagu, para asegurar que podemos comunicar con nuestros hermanos, nuestras hermanas al nivel mundial. So, thank you very much uh, Facebook for creating this platform because without you, uh, I and this King, Garifuna Duval Blanco, who's in New York and I in California would not be able to transmit live otherwise. Greg Palacio, welcome in. Melita Vargas, welcome in. So June the 9th. Lisa Jade, welcome. Uh, Lisa J. Yes. Yeah, thank you, sir. So June the 9th, we're going to start in Houston. Junio 9, vamos a empezar en Houston. Y yo quiero dar gracias a la gente y organizaciones que están involucrados. ¿Y por qué? Porque todos tenemos trabajo. Todo, nadie tiene tiempo. I want to thank the people that are on this list because you know why? Nobody has time. Nobody has money. Right. We want to give thanks to um, why? What's the okay. big deal about a census? So that people okay. will get a clearer understanding the purpose behind the census. Okay. Um, la razón por el census es um, hay recursos en nuestras comunidades que no tenemos. Sea en Honduras, Belice, Estados Unidos. Uh, there are resources that we don't have, uh, that we could have, be it in the United States, be it in Honduras, Guatemala, Nicaragua, wherever Garinago people are, that we're not getting. Uh, so when we receive the resources that will now be allocated to Garifuna people because there is a particular census that says Garifuna. Por el momento cuando vamos a votar, cuando vas a un trabajo, no le dan la opción de poner Garifuna, sea Latino, sea Afroamericano, it could be Latino, African American, but we want Garifuna because we want to be counted. Why do we want to be counted? We want to be counted because we are 
an asset in the United States of America. You know, el, el, la, la gente garifuna, uh, puedo hablar en Nueva York, tenemos garifuna veterans of America. Tenemos ciento años aquí peleando en cada guerra en los Estados Unidos, garifuna. Pero no se cuentan como garifuna. So, los recursos que vienen uh, a, a, a los soldados, por decir, o la gente que han servido abajo del militar de los Estados Unidos, o sea, Honduras o Belice, no, no lo reconocen. They don't recognize them because they're not counted as Garifuna. But the lowdown is this. We want to be counted because there are resources. That if we're counted, we will have a voice. Okay? We will be able to gain the strength that is necessary to protect our people in this whole craziness going on across the United States and the world right now, especially with the immigration issue. We can counter the immigration issue in regards to being Garifuna because the ILO 169 and the UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous People, specifically protect indigenous people like Garifuna. So if we're counted as Garifuna, we could use those numbers and make sure that that group is taken care of under those special protections. So this is a, a, a nationhood, a nationhood building exercise. Yes. For yes. Us. Yes. And the the reason that we're a, a borderless nation, because we come mm -hmm. from these four different uh, countries in Central America, um, but then yeah. we immigrate to America. Um, to my knowledge, right. we are in 22 states in the in the United States. Right. We're in 22 states. Uh, right. we in every Therefore, major, if, we're, uh, if, we're, if we're in 22 states, that means when it comes to the election of the United States of America, the election of the president, we right. can impact. You know, we have a voice in that, you know, and within a nation. And, you know, I can't knock how things end up going, but a brother like Francisco Avila has created a platform where the city of New York acknowledges the Garifuna, right? Uh, he acknowledges the Garifuna in New York unlike anywhere else. And that platform is something that we can ride off of and piggyback off of. And again, I'm not a proponent of Mr. Aguila in every aspect of uh, who he is and what he does, but he was successfully able to establish a platform there that we can ride off of so that, you know, throughout the nation, throughout the nation, those 23 states, we could go to each state and make sure we're recognized there. And this whole census will have a greater meaning at the end of the day. Yes, I, I, I definitely agree because we've been here since the 1950s, but we, we don't think of ourselves as Garifuna people, um, like from the greater, in a greater scheme of things. We right. just know that we're Garifuna because we come from a different country. Our culture is distinct, and we practice it um, as much as we can. And this seems to be sort of an, an identity crisis for a lot of persons coming from these Central American countries. Right. Well, that's and, uh... and that's one of the reasons. That's another conversation in and of itself. Yes, so it, it excites me that we're yeah. we're we're starting a, a, a new chapter right. if you will in our experience right. in, in, in counting ourselves in this country right. and we're not because the first ones said, to do this i right. want to say pablo that we're not we're not the first ones to try to do a good evening census like i said uh uh brother francisco he's focused on a, a statewide census just new york Right. Our endeavor as right. Garifuna Garinugu 2020, you see the logo behind you, Garinugu Ethnic Group Action Committee for the Preservation of the Garifuna, um, is a national first and then an international Garifuna census. You with me? Right. That's, that's a big difference right there. You know, we want to start nationwide because U.S., uh, like, Mama Telugu will once say, Yamariga. 
Luther la wan suru garifu na duo wa chulu ru bai ya ho meriga ma bole de ho mai lero samino ho ma dara wa mai wa wa ha ya lu la wan suru garifu na duo estamos aquí no para avanzar uno mismo o para la comunidad en los Estados Unidos estamos aquí en los Estados Unidos como garifuna para asegurar el futuro de garifuna dual al nivel universal es la razón que estamos en los Estados Unidos y es la razón que vamos a empezar este censo aquí en los Estados Unidos le llevo bolas de los begarinos que ya furumi en Meriga porque lo una hababa sunti que va fugir ya en Meriga lo la van serum garifuna dual pero lo va que la la segunda ahí va a buscar el nicho que será mejor cuando go Houston ah son ha a digo venidasi okay buscar el nicho que será mejor ah Aguilas Garifuna Agustín Guerrero Shirley Gibbons ah uh, board member of Garifuna Ethnic Group Action Committee Anna Castillo Treasurer thank you ah uh, la Fundación de Arte Francisco Yoba ah uh, DJ Dino Valencia tenemos a Wani Kitchen, dos años, dos años, Wani, Toro, Marta, gracias por el apoyo en Houston, gracias. La Coalición Social, Víctor Medina, cinco estrellas, Jean Melendez, uh, who's donating a jump for the kids, vamos a tener un jump, gracias a las mujeres, las madres, y tenemos que respetar a nuestras madres y padres, cinco estrellas por el jump. Uh, June 9th, que vamos a tener ahí en el Fuke Way Park, de la 4 hasta las 6 de la tarde. Junio 9 en el Fuke Way Park, una recaudación para, para, para el uh, census garifuna al nivel de los Estados Unidos. And then we're going to uh, Los Angeles after that. Uh, let me make sure I didn't forget anyone. In, in Houston, uh, Just Design, uh, Freddy Blanco, Sereme Bunhiwa. Above the Bar, Jim, Kevin Palacio, Palacio Designs, Dwight Palacio. The last two people are my brothers, and I'm not thanking them. Trevor, sure, you got to speak brothers. slower. Okay. You have to speak um, slower because the transmission is still... It's catching up. Very lagging. All right, so we have... It's pretty delayed. All right, delayed. so we have Freddie Blanco, Just Designs, Above the Bar, Jim, and Palacio Designs. And then we go to, and then we go to Los Angeles... Uh, June the 16th, uh, this movement is led by the International Garifuna Council, President Joyce Cayetano, Seremi Logosuna Hadigabe, Juan Mena Garcia, Secretary, Martha Martinez, who is a living legend. And you have to do an interview with Martha. And uh, as a matter of fact, Mabriga, we have to do an interview with all of our living legends, man. We have to. We have Gafu. Ronnie Figueroa and his wife, Sister Cheryl. We have Little June. Little June will be performing June the 16th. I repeat, June va a estar allí en Los Angeles and uh, Auntie Martha's yard June the 16th. June the 16th. Little June va a llegar. Thank you, young brother. Salutes. Bless you. We have Byron Martinez. Uh, and uh, we have Georgette Lambe and Sister Marie and the whole crew with all of the fundraisers that we want to thank you for all that you do. And then we have, uh, and then we will go on to uh, New York where we will have Chicago, I'm sorry. We will go on to Chicago uh, where we have Garina Galua Juan Seruni, President Joseph Miranda, Sister Sharon. Uh, Fidelis Nunez, Mr. Promelis, we want to thank you for letting us use your place. Thank you. Um, Rodney Nunez, and definitely Garifuna Flavor, Rody, uh, and Mrs. Castillo. Rody artists, we hope you could get a chance to perform, and that'll be June the 23rd or the 30th. And then uh, on the 30th, for sure, we'll be in New York. And uh, that's when um, we have Carmen Miranda, who is our Vice President, Secretary Evelyn Colon, Board Members Pastor Sonia Fernandez, Pastor Herman Cayetano, and of course we want to thank Mabriga Garinago, Sereme Pablo, 
uh, for the media system. Uh, about thing, um, media Miranda Wong, Lunigue Watati Ruaba Red, uh, una sistema de comunicación. Miriam dijo que de, de que tenemos que formar una red para poder comunicar al nivel internacional y es Mabriga. Uh, Trevor Palacio aporta a Mabriga Garinogu. Uh, y otra vez te doy gracias, Pablo Blanco. Uh, y queremos dar gracias también a Casa Yurume en Nueva York, uh, a Sister Xiomara y Sister Barbie Lopez for allowing us to use the park. And we'll be at Ferry Point Park in New York. Ferry Point Park in New York on June the uh, 30th. Now, uh, we also want to thank we Seattle. We also want to thank Trevor, Seattle. Can you the, to, Trevor, repeat the dates again because when you were repeating them, uh, the transmission was very lagging and it was very choppy. So if you could repeat okay. where the fundraisers will be hold will be held okay. rather. Okay. Uh, June the 9th in Houston, Texas. First at Fuquay Park, from 12 to 6 p.m. We're going to have a jump for the kids. Vamos a tener un jump para los niños donado por la hermana Jean Melendez y cinco estrellas. Uh, vamos a tener DJ Dino ahí. Y después en la noche, we're going to be at Wani Kitchen. Thank you, Toro Loco and Sister Martha. Uh, vamos a estar en Wani Kitchen de las 10 uh, hasta las 3 de la mañana. Uh, dos recaudaciones allí en Houston, June the 9th. Thank you very much for your support, Houston. And then June the 16th in Los Angeles at Auntie Martha's Place, uh, which will be from like uh, 4 p.m. till like midnight. We have little June coming in. Thank you very much, little June. Uh, so that's June the 16th in Los Angeles. Thank you, President Joyce, and one minute for your leadership there. And then we'll go on to Chicago, possibly maybe the 23rd or the 24th. So let's say the 23rd right now, it'll be in Chicago. We want to thank Pamelis. It will be a Pamelis place uh, in Chicago. We want to thank Glock, Garina Golua, Juan Seruni, and President Joseph Miranda for leading that. And then we'll go on to New York, uh, where it will be uh, at uh, Ferry Point Park, June the 30th, for sure, in New York, Ferry Point Park, we want to uh, we want to thank uh, Sister Silmora for uh, for blessing us with the space to be able to do that. We want to thank Bodoma, Lisandigo Bodoma, Andy Ordonez, and I also want to throw in a punchline for uh, your music production and your music management, uh, Brother uh, Duval Blanco, for managing uh, people like Bodoma. Uh, we're actually working on a larger project. We'll tap into that later. But uh, back to New York, uh, we want to thank Pastor Sonia, and, uh, Pastor Fernandez, and uh, Sister Amina, and Carmen Miranda for that. It will be a fair point for it. So we were going down the list of thank yous. We also have New Orleans with Orling Limontus Martinez and the Garifuna Community Foundation and Sister Miriam Herrera. I love you, Sister Miriam Herrera and your family. Mabri go home. Mabri go home. Uh, Chicago, uh, we've already shouted them out. And in Seattle, Wilbur, you just tuned in with uh, Garinogu uh, Hongwa, uh, President Wilbur Guerrero. Uh, that's where we will be doing the census in 2019 and uh, Brother Joeling. So first we'll do Chicago and then we'll do uh, Seattle in 2019. So these fundraisers, June the 9th, Houston, June the 16th, uh, in Los Angeles, June the 23rd in Chicago, June the 30th. We'll do that again in different cities in 2019, preparing for the Garifuna census in Seattle, 2019. There is a Garifuna community in Detroit. Uh, yes, sir. It's a small uh, community. And, and in Utah. Yes. I forget which part in Utah. I believe it's Salt Lake City. Um, Brother Ronnie Figueroa, he could uh, give you more uh, details where that is. But uh, yes, uh, in, in terms of international, um, we know that there's close to 100,000 Garinago in um, 52 communities in Honduras. 
right, alone. Um, and we have to count yeah, them. I don't. Cause we, cause the, yeah, I don't I'm know sure the figures for Nicaragua. Right, because there's a, a lot of people who have immigrated over here. Right. I don't right. know the numbers for La Buga and Guatemala, Belize. It will be interesting. It's about, they say it's about five thousand in La Buga, five six thousand. Okay. In Guatemala, ballpark, give or take. Um, we need they to said that count in about... St. Vincent as well. We need to count in St. Vincent because there's 400,000 yeah. dissensions here in Brooklyn. Um, yeah. I, I, and those... and on, then on the island, that's another right. 100,000. Right. So, and, and if you imagine if we could just harness, you see the only numbers, because look, not only are we doing, if I could go into this, not only are we doing a census, uh, but we're also doing voter education and registration. No, no, uh, no, no más right. vamos a contar la gente. Estamos educando, estamos registrando votantes también. Uh, uh, ¿Y por qué? ¿Por qué lo estamos haciendo? Uh, uh, Clay y Antonio. The reason we're doing this, the only thing that politicians respect is the vote. The numbers. Right, but not only that, not only that, but we have persons in the African American community that lost their lives so that people yeah. of color could, could vote. I mean, we have Mega right. Evers, all these right. people that did these freedom rides into Alabama. Right. Um, no, but we're, even, we're doing the service them. to their legacy. Yeah, not, not just voting. them. Yeah, not just them, not just the African American brothers and sisters here, but got even the men and women who were fighting. Uh, in the uh, 30s, the 40s, in the World War One and school, right? They were fighting for an unjust country. So Garifuna men and women paved the way as well for the voter for the Voters Rights Act to be passed. Okay, you know Can what I'm saying? The last two sentences, if the the transmission was choppy. Can you repeat your last two sentences? No, what I said that good evening, men and women fought in the World War One and Two. Therefore, they were also fighting for an unjust country at that time, where black people couldn't vote in the thirties. You know what I'm saying? In the twenties, right? So, good evening, men and women, not just African American men and women, paved the way for there. There was good evening the blood that was also shed that paved the way for us to vote today and 2018 people don't want to vote and i understand why they don't want to vote pablo i understand because it seems as if their vote don't count and i want to say that it doesn't it does not yes you're right your vote does not count but hear what i'm saying it does not count by itself but when you take your vote and unite your vote and do this thing with your vote, then your vote counts. So we're counting good from the people because we understand that strength is, unity is where our strength is. That's where we're going to not only count the people, but we're going to educate to elevate, man. We're going to educate to elevate and I want to thank scholars like yourself for being educated enough to and be involved in this because there are too many scholars, too many educated good evening people who are actually in position to make a difference, who have distanced themselves, who understand what we're talking about. You're sharing some very important information and the transmission, the entire uh, paragraph that you just uh, finished off with. Yeah. I don't think anybody heard that. I can't hear it. I mean, the transmission is like really choppy. Okay. Uh, let me just repeat it here. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, that's okay. better. Every time, if you could keep it there, because there the, the light is brighter as well. Okay, I'm not moving. I'm really. Hector Zapata, we have Wilbur Guerrero online. Uh, you're involved in the movement, 
and there are too many Garifuna men and women who are doctors, lawyers, engineers, uh, uh, you name it. Bad for some reason. Uh, no, no, but uh, Wilbur said he's I... getting it. The transmission is bad. Pablo. Yeah, the transmission is bad. It's not seamless. Pablo. The transmission is bad. Okay, but uh, Will said. Trevor, are you still there? All right, let's see if Trevor, vamos a ver si Trevor regresa. Porque la transmisión está mal. Él está uh, um, Trevor is sharing some really, really important information. And I want everyone to get this. Uh, saludos, Wilber Guerrero, Brother Ackley from Yurumain. Greetings, Mabriga. Carla Boden, greetings, Mabriga. Sonia Canales, Mabriga, Julio. El tamborista más mejor de San Juan. Yo te acá, Sister Candace Gill from Sandy Bay, Yurume, how are you? Brother Shabazz, Bush Napoleon, Byron Acosta, Roy the Drummer. Yo te acá, Tom, bra. Dangil. Santiman, Nibu, yo te acá, Hello, Marzetta. Cousin Vinny, how you doing? Wagia Limon, you don't hear Mabriga. Mabriga, we go by Bay Lu, Liebi, Trevor, Lume, what do me have? Davin, what's going on, brother Davin? I want to go to your island. I want to go to your island. You can't share those pictures. You're making me itch to go to the island where you're at. All right, so Trevor, I'm going to bring you back on. All right, guys, I'm going to bring Trevor back on so he could give us more information and the rationale behind the census. All right, Trevor, I got you right now. Just give me a second here. It's not allowing me to add you one way. I gotta go back and scroll down to the initial post that you put. You guys just bear with me for a second here. All right, Trevor, I just sent you a request to add you. Ya le mandé una solicitud a Trevor. Wogo banye ibirigo a Trevor lo liebe, lo le dume a wami. Gibeti lengo luti wagambo ni. We're about to add him back on. The as I alluded to earlier, a lot of persons died for the, the right for us to vote in America, um, which happened 50 years ago. It's not that too long ago um, that this happened. So the idea is to to vote as a group. Okay, the connection failed. I'm going to try to bring Trevor on again.
trying to bring Trevor back on. So to me, being Garifuna in this country is understanding certain uh, movements and how it applies to people of color. Like the movement behind voting is something that we have to pay attention to. Um, there's a lot of things in politics that applies to Garifuna people. Um, specifically like immigration that's an issue that we have we have to be um, aware of that immigration is a very big issue in our community um, tourism and I'm not sure why this is not connecting to Trevor I'm gonna try again maybe because I have another device going so I'm gonna try to stop that particular device And that may speed up the transmission with um, trouble. So you guys bear with me for one second. Yeah, that's one. All right, guys, I'm back. So I turned off the other device. So I have this, this one device, the dedicated device for this call. All right, let me try getting that Trevor again. So I think he's giving some very important information for ready for our people um, to organize ourselves. I think it's time that we organize ourselves as a community. Okay. So on my end, Trevor, I stopped the device because I was using another device. I'm doing some, I'm downloading some things on my other machine. So hopefully this will be better. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Okay, so you, you're, you're better. You're better because yeah. before everything was just choppy. The last, I think the last thing where we left off is where you was talking about the importance of voting and, and uh, you, you indicated that there were some Garifuna people that was involved in the Voting Rights Act in 1960s. So if you could elaborate um, to the audience um, more regarding that information, because that's something that I don't know. Um, para los hermanos que no saben, eh, Trevor mencionó que cuando se pasó una acta para votar aquí en los Estados Unidos, hay gente garífuna que estaba involucrado en ese proceso. So yo quiero oír más de, de, de ese movimiento y, y cómo impactaron el pueblo garifuna ahí. So you could tell us more. Uh, where do you have any names or? Well, it was uh, it was because or, there was a breakdown in transmission that you didn't clearly hear what I was saying. Um, okay. What I was saying was I brought up institutions or organizations like Garifuna Veterans of America in New York. Right. Uh, during during the period of time World War One and Two. Um. We had Gadifan men and women that were fighting in the military during a period of time that you mentioned that African Americans were killed for the right to vote. 
right. there were, but even the men and women as well, that was already fighting for a country. Right. Right. Where it really matters to vote. You know. So I was just alluding to the fact that African Americans died for it, but got even the people who were also in a position where they were also dying for it. You know? Right. So we should honor our ancestors by voting. You know? Uh, because you're right. People died for this. People died for this. That's just one aspect of the reasoning for voting. But the most important reason is economic empowerment. Okay, making sure that good even the men and women or children's children's children have institutions in place for them, like the Jewish community does, like the Asian community does, the Turkish, the Italian, the Greek, the Russian, all of these communities have institutions or infrastructures that will outlive each one of them that we need to establish for uh, our posterity. And Wilbur, you're right. Uh, Wilbur said, I was talking about we have science, we have doctors, lawyers, engineers. Wilbur, you're right. We have scientists. And when you mention the scientists and doctors, they're good even the people that are dying in places like Honduras. Guatemala, from basic ailments, Pablo. And we have good even right. scientists. And we have good even doctors. But I don't want to go off on a rant. I don't want to go into that conversation. You know? Yeah, and that's another conversation altogether. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have to vote. And um, again, to cut the video, uh, to cut you uh, uh, and... and you know, thank everyone for their time, for being here today. Again, my name is Trevor Palacio, and I am the president of Garinugu Ethnic Group Action Committee for the Preservation of the Garifuna, uh, AKA Garifuna Garinugu 2020 Consortium. And we are focused on the economic empowerment of Garifuna people, voter education and registration, Garifuna unity, immigration and human rights, the formation of a media system, which is Mabriga Garinugu with Pablo Blanco, um, and of course, finances. These are the things that we're concerned about. But we want to start at voter education, voter edu education and registration, and the Garifuna census, and we're coming to a city near you. And I want to plug in uh, something real quick. Uh, we need some money to do this. Wilbur, we need some money. Ackley. We need some money. Hector, we need some money. Angela Palacio, we need some money. Anna Budari Palacio, we need some money. Doreen Garcia, uh, whoever else uh, I might have missed, I know you're not watching so we could beg, but I'm shameless when it comes to begging because I am begging for Garifuna Dua. I am begging Trevor, you. before you go on, before you go on, can you explain to persons that know, don't know what Garifuna Dual means? A la persona que no sabe qué es Garifuna Dual. Home Mutual, BFT, Home Cala Garifuna Dual Lubwe, or Cala Garifuna Dual, Cat Concepto Lidia. Okay. Garifuna Dual is the essence of being something. Dual. Dual means the essence of being something. And we are Garifuna, the essence of being Garifuna, the culture, the religion, the food, the people, you know, the, 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 the chemistries, the intricate things that make us uniquely Garifuna, period, the essence or the ness, the Garifuna ness of being that is what Garifuna Duo is. And that's oftentimes you will always hear me say, we do what we do for Garifuna Duo, for the essence of being Garifuna, for the, for the eternal presence of being Garifuna is what that means, Pablo. Does that answer the question? 
Yes, it does. And I, and I want to add that that uh, Garifuna Dual is um, on the pillar. It works off the pillar of our cultural philosophy, yep. which is Amuru Nuni, Amuru Buni. So I, I think that's very Aura, important. Aura Buni, Amuru Nuni. Aura Buni, and Amuru Nuni. Amuru Nuni. Um, and I think that's very important that we have to um, actually explain to people what these different components means because... Yeah, true. In, in, in regards to what we're doing, we're trying to organize a community. Right. And we so, can't organize uh, them. And we can't organize if, if them. They don't know. Money. Well, that too, but they got to know what everything means as, as well. Why, right. is, what, why we use certain words and right. why we greet ourselves a certain way. They have right. to understand all these things. Educate to elevate. Us. Exactly. Um, Garifuna, he said the Garifuna home. Right. Meaning that we have love for each other because we know right. that we had this terrible experience, historical experience. So when we see somebody that's Garifuna, either from Belize, Guatemala, St. Vincent, there's a, there's a, a different level of love there than meeting somebody else. Right. Because from 2,500 people, we became 800,000 worldwide. So yeah. Amen. people have to understand the right. importance of that. Glory be you to know, God. So for at, that. At, and our at ancestors. this point in time, at this point in time in our history, um, I don't think we have made a serious, uh, or we took a serious look at ourselves, in terms of who we are and what we should be doing moving forward. Because you're correct, we do need uplifting economic empowerment. Right. Um, when you arrive as a first generation Garifuna person, um, we're basically starting off at a poverty level. Yes. Like for instance, the way that yeah. the way that wealth is measured in America is what what your grandfather has. Right. You see how that works? Not right. your mother, but what your grandfather has. Yes. That's well. So all of us are exactly. That's wealth. So we have to think in those terms of how we could develop that in this country. Like and that's I what this and your generation. Right. Exactly. So in order to acquire wealth, one of those ways that we could acquire that wealth is uniting ourselves. In right. this point, we have the uh, Garifuna culture that unites all of us. Right. From all these different countries in St. Vincent to the countries in uh, um, in Central America. Mm -hmm. Here, we could acquire more resources if we identify ourselves as Garifuna and we vote as a voting bloc. Right. As a Garifuna yes. voting bloc. So that's 600,000, the potential to be 600,000 people in America alone. Mm -hmm. So if we could just imagine the impact that could have on an election. Amen. Nationwide. So, so that's the whole goal. That's what I was trying to push you to, 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 uh, to utter during your uh, remark and explaining the whole right. um, macro level, the whole mindset behind engaging right. in a fundraiser trying to organize right. ourselves in all these five places here in America. Right, right. I mean, it's just because a good that, start. That would be like, the end game. Uh, you know, the end game is, uh, if you could it, just imagine this. You know, imagine Garifuna hospitals. Imagine Garifuna schools and universities. Uh, imagine Garifuna banks where you can go to an institution specifically designed for you, specifically designed to who you are and what your need may be, and understands who you are. Imagine that. Imagine being able to cross borders without having to cross the river because you can do it legally. Imagine that. That's the end game behind what Garifuna Garinugu 2020 is doing. The end game is Garifuna autonomy, empowerment, and the establishment of institutions. That's the end game. Garifuna institutions that will outlive you, Ackley, you, Wilbur, you, Olga, you, Pablo, me. That's the end game, Brother Pablo. And while I touch up, because I like to speak about what's actually going on, while I talk, while I talk about uh, just a little bit about crossing borders, 
without having to cross rivers. I want every good even a person to understand that you can legally come to the United States of America. Cada persona garífuna puede venir a los Estados Unidos legalmente, que lo sepan. Fino, uh, hay varias personas que se han muerto cruzando la frontera y no tienen que hacer eso. No tienen que hacer eso. Si quieren saber cómo pueden pasar, por la frontera legalmente que comuniquen con nuestro grupo. Porque sabemos exactamente cómo. We know exactly how you can cross the border legally without having to risk your life. Okay? Like the young sister Melendez who lost her life. Under the ILO 169 and the UNDRIP document that even the people can legally cross the border. Brother Pablo. Lute muga bengu ni lu gufumba gufumba hamani ibirugo garifuna go lute muga bengu ni lo garifuna. La dega gibe tia mutu ya hulili gati balisi kasi mebi te wishi u mutu garifuna go negara wagi la naga geben. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Pablo. España, Europa, Alemania, porque ya en Giga ha bajado a Gujongua, que hay Magda Melendez, Fino, Magda Melendez, que descansa en paz. 18 años, dice Vizde Irumotao, Magda de Itebi Bayahu, man. Luto, eh, Lutigo, ni tiró, Uru Agadri Irumo la Oguele. Porque Uru Agadri Irumo Luma que tome, eh, Sangu Hamuga la Oguele. Mama la mozo. Porque. Hay niña de Mure Guama, si vos y tu mon y de Luba la Hamuga, y abi ya un meriga. Pero mamá tía hamuga lu heredero. Liga ga abacate. Mamá lu heredero. Gowana tía hamuga hiyabi lu ho wadiga maidu abahagi budu haigo. Mamá lu heredero. Lu ho subidi uni lili. Gowana tía wofu ni hu idolu bala hamuga hiyabi sin riesgar humani hibagari. Tira bias, tira beast. O hafa go mesiga anu. Gibe te asgo nyegea madeiru omanya. There's a lot of people crossing the border right now uh, that are never found and heard from again. Agamba no mutu logo give it in biro go aba howe go aba hafa go na. Yeah, but hafa go ni mesiga ni ma. Tiga go lida gerero lida te aba esto gerero lida be. Ni tapaso bestie to ge lida ge gerero nege. Machilo ti na ni dalen no di mesiga hada ni hagayi mesiga na machilo ti na ni busiati na ni belu no di ni pero busiati na chilo ni. Um, Gayati here be muto ya to bisa lu huo do me do pero gibe ti senso gibe ti senso lu consigita on bisa lu ti ge a a a ni ge few kate lu gani hamani muto ya geta lu consigita mano bisa to ge no pero what fancy is difficult for people to no, visa. It's difficult for persons from Honduras to get to come over here to acquire that particular visa. That work no, visa. The, it's not the, something the, easy to. But the pro, but to, there's to a problem. The but there's a major problem, Pablo. The reason they're struggling getting that visa is because you and I we talk all the time. Garifuna people have an understanding issue. People don't. Garifuna people don't see themselves as indigenous. 
You and I talk about this all the time. Okay? Don't go over there, Latino. Of course, you're competing against the rest of them. Our situation is specific, hermano. Nuestra situación es especial, hermano. Y lo tenemos que tratar de esa manera. Es especial. Y estamos actuando como que nuestra situación no es especial. Where else do you see a group of, I know that they're Jamaicans, they're black in the Caribbean. I know that they're Haitians, they're black in the Caribbean. They're Cubans, they're black in the Caribbean. But guess what? Name another group that is black in the Caribbean that own their own beachfront properties. Name one other one. None. Other than the Gullah Geechee the, of the other than the Gullah Geechee, right? over here in America. North Carolina. Yeah, other than them, I can't name any other. They're, no, they're, but they don't they're own beachfront properties. I'm talking about beachfront property. properties. Beachfront properties. I'm talking about the wealth, right? I'm talking about what makes us different because the, 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 the Gullah Geechee of North Carolina, New Orleans area, those individuals are also special, especially particular like we are. Their, their rights fall differently. So if we were to approach the visa situation from a UN perspective, you understand? Or approach, right. because look, what we're asking for, Pablo, it's not necessarily that visa, the HB4, or whatever it is. We're not really... Right now, that's the only tool that we can use because that's the one we've tapped into, right? But the right. one we're really pursuing is under the United Nation, where it clearly says Articles 32 through 36 in the United Nation Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous People, that Garifuna people have the right to travel anywhere. There are Garifuna people. Because Wilbur is in Seattle, whether I'm legal or not, I could be in Beijing, China, and go see him. As long as he's my family, he writes a letter of consent saying that we're family, and there's the UN connection. Boom. It's done. There is a smaller pool of people, and maybe there's not even a pool of people, competing for that status versus the pool of people that's competing for that HB4 or whatever type of visa there may be. Right, because one of the things that the Trump administration has, um, his, his, his uh, immigration laws are very strict, is because he doesn't want persons coming to this country and abusing the resources. Right. That's why they're strict like that. I mean, people think that's discrimination, um, he's a racist, and, and all these other things. I mean, he's, all, he's, he's, he's to, probably all that too, though, Pablo. It's probably all that too. Yeah, it's it's a possibility. It's yeah. a possibility, but in business terms, you don't want everybody acquiring your 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 resources either. I mean, look, when you think about things from the economic perspective, um, that makes sense because you have to protect what is internally yours, right? I get that, right? But the the track record, the history. The bloodline of America is immigrants, bro. Right. I understand that. You feel, you feel me? The bloodline yeah. that runs through America, that's why they call it the melting pot. You with me? And this man, God bless Donald Trump, he is forgetting that what the melting pot means. His wife is an immigrant, man. So economically, there's enough for everybody, speaking economically. You know what I'm saying? If you qualify for the job, do the job. Because the people that are picking the strawberries are not the people with the GED, son. And I'm talking about a GED. You understand? I'm not talking about a high school diploma. Because the guy with the high school diploma could get a job maybe because there's more respect for the high school diploma than the GED. And I'm not talking about the guy with the associate degree. I'm talking about the guy who has no degree in between the guy that has a GED. The ones that are big picking the strawberries, 
that are working in the freezers, that are doing the poisonous, uh, uh, you know, working in these chemical plants, all kinds of stuff without the necessary protection, they're illegals. They're right. immigrants, yo. There are brothers well, and maybe sisters. We could we could push. Well, maybe as a community, we could push for um, immigration amendments. Um, in, in terms we can. of, but but first we have to organize our vote and our voice, though, before we could push for any kind of amendment. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what right. this conversation. The whole thing is, is just about. to get organized. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This country respects organization. Yeah, and I respect that. So we we come over here. We don't have in in terms of like as a community. We don't understand how that works, how you know, right. different levels of organizations are needed. And, you know, we have a lot of organizations in the community, but they don't necessarily work together. Everybody has their own agenda. But, you know, if we start having these conversations, and that's the reason that initiated me to, to create my Brigade de Gallina so we could talk about um, empowering our community. Right. And I would, along with, you know, an emphasis on history as well, because we, we definitely have to look at things from a historical perspective True. so we can know how to move forward as a community. Exactly. So and that's I very repeat, important. And I repeat things. Hey, my phone is about but, to die. Uh, okay, so just re before you go, re repeat the uh, fundraising locations and the dates All right. so that everybody can have it. And I'm going to put them on in the, in the uh, comments as well. When All right, I thank chance, you, Because I have to head out. To All right. see Anna, Castillo, Anna, Castillo, Anna Castillo, if you... Anna Castillo, if you're still on the line, please text your phone number uh, uh, on this. And, uh, text a message. Put your message. Put your number in a message in the comment under here because I'm going to ask everybody that is watching to send you donations uh, for the Houston event. Whoever is able to send donations to the Houston event uh, or the New York event or the Chicago event or uh, the... Um, Houston, at Los Angeles event, please. Um, we need your support. I will tell you who to send funds to, but we want to start with Houston. Houston is number right. one right now. If we could have is a there success. A, event, is there a bank account that persons yes. could deposit, like a checking account that they could uh, deposit an account to, or they could send it through PayPal? Because I, I believe, I, that, Trevor, I definitely believe in using technology yes. to help our cause. Like things yes, like sir. PayPal. And all these other tools that the yes. internet has uh, has yielded, we could use those to to make our experience more fruitful. Just like we're using Facebook right now, I agree with you. Uh, right. Once they contact right. Anna Castillo, any method of payment, they will find out exactly how to get that done. Anna Castillo okay. sounds great. Yeah, Anna Castillo. All right. So, so that if we put the if you dates. can repeat the uh, the dates and the fundraising locations, that would be great. Yeah. Then we could wrap up. All right, uh, so that's June the 9th in Houston, Texas. That will be at Fuquake Park. And then uh, that's from 12 to 6. And we have uh, an event where we will have a jump there for the kids. We'll have DJ Valencia Dino doing his thing. And then we will relocate later on that night from 10 till at Wani Kitchen at 1202 Lockwood Drive, Houston, Texas. And then the following event will be in Los Angeles. June the 16th, contact Joyce Cayetano or myself directly for that. And that will be at Auntie Martha's place. And that will be at 973 East 42nd Street, Los Angeles, California, 90011. Little June will be in the building. We're excited about that. And in uh, Houston, Gadu Nunez will be at Wani Kitchen. Gadu Nunez and Yoba and his drums will be at Wani Kitchen June the 9th. And you, uh, in June, little June, ha, June and the month of June will be at Auntie Martha's place uh, on uh, the 16th. Look forward to that. And then we'll go to Chicago, which will be on the 23rd, which will be at Pomalis' place, 1042 North Trumbull Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Mr. Bernard Permelis in Chicago, thank you. Joseph Miranda is your contact. And we're trying to get Rody, the artist, uh, to, um, uh, to perform. If you're in Chicago, encourage Rody, the artist, to perform. 
And if you're in uh, Los Angeles, encourage Mr. Goody, Gooey to perform, please. And then we go on over to New York, which will be at uh, Ferry Point Park. Everyone knows exactly where Ferry Point Park is. Again, we want to thank Miss Yomara for connecting us, uh, for blessing us, and Barbie Lopez as well with the fields there. We will be partnering with the both of them. And uh, we also want to thank Podoma, Andy Ordonez, and uh, Lisanigo Podoma. And of course, uh, Pablo Blanco Entertainment will be in the house on that particular day. So those are the dates. Uh, stay in tune uh, for Anna Castillo. You can reach her at 832-416-2962. That's 832-416-2962. We need funds in Houston, Texas. As a matter of fact, we're short like $1,000. If one of you could send $1,000, that would be a blessing. All right. So, Trevor... Thank you for your time. <laughs> I know you could be set tripping, but you spend it with us and share this great wealth of information. Yes, sir. So I'm going to put the uh, the upcoming dates for the fundraisers in the chat. I'm going to do that a little bit later because I have to head out. But uh, just keep us abreast of how everything is going. Um, if you guys want to follow Trevor, he's on Facebook. His name is Trevor Palacio. Um, I my initial post, I put a link. I tagged them on it, so you could just click on it and, and add them on there. Right. Tell us about the, the, the group, the name of the group that you handle, Trevor. Uh, Garinogu Ethnic Group Action Committee for the Preservation of the Garifuna or Garinogu or Garifuna Garinogu 2020 Consortium, which is Garifuna groups made up of individuals like uh, Bodoma, Agadu Nunez, A Little June, uh, Auntie Martha, those are individuals and groups. Like uh, uh, Pastor Sonia and her church, Herman Cayetano and his church, uh, Garifuna Veterans of America, uh, Garina Gohongwa in Seattle with uh, Wilbur Guerrero and Joellen. Uh, we have La Coalición Social, La, Fende, La, uh, La Fundación de Arte con Yoba in Houston, Aguilas Garifuna. Uh, we have uh, Garina Gulua wants it in Chicago. So this is just made up of individuals and group who care. Okay. And I believe every right. Garifuna person genuinely cares about Garifuna. But these are the people willing to make a sacrifice. Let me say that. Not everyone right. is willing to make a sacrifice. So everyone cares. But these are the people that are willing to take their dimes, their time, and invest it in Garifuna Duo, Garifuna Essence. Or Garifuna Ness. All right. So there you have it. Mabiga Honsoy Garinago. Thank you, Muti Birugo, Trevor Logo Lidani, Lu, Layano Awama, Logo, um, Togo Garifuna Sensu, Togo, Kala, Wogu, Lu, Dugani Garifuna Sensus. Right. Um, so right. everyone, thank you for your time. Um, Trevor, you got any last parting words? Yeah. Uh, Jay King said, Yeah, hey, Lumuti go. What you little got in a go again? I got in a go again. Got in a go again. I'm going to go again. I'm going Aura Buni and Murununi. Pasteco, Buido La Hiveyu, Nadume Mebun, Lida Mebeule. Higa, Sereme. <laughs>